Hi, this is P.R. Sundar. Welcome to this special episode where I am going to talk about space science. So, when I say space science, don't be afraid. I am not going to talk uh, anything complicated because I myself don't know anything complicated. I will try to explain things as simple as possible. The first thing is that now I am sitting on this chair. I am not at all moving. But do you know that actually I am moving at the speed of 800 km per second. Imagine I am moving 800 km per second. That means in 2 seconds I can reach Mumbai from Chennai, 3 seconds I can reach Delhi from Chennai. In a matter of 10-15 seconds I can reach any city in the world. How is that possible? So let me explain. Although I am sitting on this chair without moving, you have a little bit of science knowledge and you know that the earth is rotating itself. It takes one day for a complete rotation. So if you calculate the circumference of the earth, assuming that we are somewhere near the equator, so we make 1000 miles per hour speed. So because the earth is moving, I am sitting on the earth. So when the earth is moving, I am also moving along with the earth. So that speed is 1000 miles per hour. That is the speed at, with which the earth rotates. And you also know that earth does not rotate itself. It also rotates through the sun. It makes round around the sun. So to make one around the sun, it takes about 365 days. And if you calculate the distance covered divided by time taken, it takes about 66,000 miles per hour. It is 66,000 miles per hour. With that speed, the earth is moving around the sun. Again, the sun is also not stationary. The sun is also moving towards the other stars. And that happens at 1500 miles per hour. In addition to that, the sun is also moving along with the galaxy. And that is about 4,80,000 miles per hour. And our planet, sun, along with all other stars, billions of stars put together is one family called galaxy. The galaxy in which we belong is called Milky Way galaxy. This entire galaxy is also moving and you just cannot imagine with what speed it is moving. It is moving at the speed of 1.3 million miles per hour. So, I am just sitting here and if you put together all, effectively I am moving at 1.9 million miles per hour. That translates into approximately 800 kilometers per second. So, this is just to give you how big is the universe. And you want to travel non-stop for let us say for 10 days, then the road must be so long, right? In the same way, our entire galaxy is moving at the speed of 1.3 million miles per hour and then can you imagine how big must be the space and this 1.3 million miles per hour, how long it has been moving like this? Just imagine it has been moving like this for around 13.8 billion years. So just imagine for 13.8 billion years, you are moving at the speed of 1.3 million miles per hour. That means how far we have traveled, then how long more to travel? So where is the end of the space? And not only this, I told you the entire galaxy is moving. So let me give you from another perspective. Our planet, sun, billions of stars put together one family I said, it's called galaxy, it's called Milky Way galaxy. Like this, there are millions of galaxies are there in the universe. One galaxy alone will be having billions of stars and there are millions of galaxies are there. Now I am coming to the important thing. It has been found that all the galaxies are moving away from other galaxies. So let us say uh, two galaxies are here now, but one year before it should have been closer to each other. 
two year before even closer to each other five billion year before ten billion year before so if you go back in the time roughly about 13.8 billion years back that means all these galaxies should have been together so a theory says our entire universe all the stars planets uh, no all the galaxies they were all together as one mass in that one mass something has happened just like a bomb explodes so when a bomb explodes so the pieces fly but fly to some distance then it falls down why because of air pressure and the gravity but here so when some blast happened and then the pieces were thrown so only those pieces are galaxies and stars and planets but they never fall because there is no gravity and there is no air pressure so it continue to move so the blast was so powerful that all the galaxies thrown out they are moving at 1.6 million miles per hour speed so which is called big bang so this theory is called big bang theory then another interesting story i'm going to tell you i'm looking at you how i'm able to look at you if the room is totally dark assume that totally dark even if you are there in front of me i cannot look at you but only when there is a light i can look at you so the light has got something to do with looking what happens when you are sitting in front of me the light falls on your body and your body reflects that light and that reflection reaches my eye that is why i am able to see you in a complete dark room there will be no light so the light will not fall on you you will not be reflecting the light so i will not be able to see you so assume that you pray to the god and get a special power whenever the light falls on me i should not reflect the light so i have to observe the light if the god grants the wish that means nobody can see you i can you imagine so there are some objects in the universe that has this power it will be there but you cannot see so how is that possible let me explain when you throw an object up or let us say you are jumping up so ultimately you fall back to the earth why the earth has got something called gravitational power it pulls you back so let us say you are able to jump 2 feet higher the earth will pull you back but assume that you go to the moon the weight of the moon or the mass of the moon to be precisely it's only about 1/6 of the earth mass so that means if you jump 2 feet here on the moon you can actually jump 12 feet high so how high you can jump depends on the mass of the object on which you are standing so assume that you are on another planet which is twice as big as earth then you can't jump 2 feet you can jump only 1 feet let us say another planet which is 30 times more heavier than this there you can jump only 1 cm and even some big planets if you stand there the gravitational pull is so powerful you cannot even take your leg up you can't take your leg up then how are you going to walk it will be impossible for you to walk so that means you will be forever stuck with the planet so that is because of the gravitational pull if the gravitational pull is so powerful you cannot even lift your leg you just cannot walk once you are stuck it's like that's it forever you are stuck but there are certain objects in the universe which are 1000 times 10000 times million times heavier than our planet even if the light goes in it cannot come out the gravitational power is so powerful that even the light cannot come out so even if a light falls on that object the gravitational force is so powerful it absorbs it it does not reflect it then can you see that object no you cannot see that object the scientists named this object as black hole black hole is the object in the universe which is there but you cannot see then you may ask one question sir an object is there 
nobody can see then how come the scientist came to know that there is such object nobody can see right then how can you come to know so there are some indirect ways the people have found out the sun is there and earth is a planet so earth is revolving around the sun it is the gravitational pull of the sun so that keeps our planet at a constant distance and earth is revolving around the sun same way in the space so there are few objects are moving around but when there are few objects are moving around at the center there must be something but there is nothing so then the scientists conclude that if things are revolving around something so at the center there must be something but we are not able to see that so that means there is the black hole so then you can imagine the size of the universe and in that space you are only 6 feet tall then you know you are not even one drop of the ocean and still we all have so much of ego in our life this theory we have explained today is called big bang theory and black hole theory so the science from the beginning to the end it is called from big bang to black hole and there is one book which explains all these concepts in simple language is called a brief history of time and the book was written by a scientist called stephen hawking and he died only recently and i will suggest you go to the google the search about him so he is physically handicapped person and has written books like this he was considered to be the best scientist in the world in the recent times of course we are not talking about einstein and newton so among the living people he was considered as the best scientist but only recently i think one or two years before only he died so i will suggest you to go to google and to find the related materials the space science is not as difficult as you are thinking there are people who have come out with uh, videos books which are very simple to understand i hope you enjoyed thoroughly this video this video is totally off the topic not related to the stock market so thank you for watching